So here in the third part of lesson 77, we're working at breaking 80 and have arrived at the second T. Now, again, I said earlier, it's all about decisions and this is an uphill par four. I can get there fairly easily in two shots. It's not a long hole. However, I'm presented with the option of hitting a driver or a three wood. And what I'd say to most of us is that hitting a driver on a lower trajectory then you're hitting it into the hill, it can work against you. You could tee the ball up if you were skilled and hit the ball a bit higher, but to me it would make sense if you hit your three wood. A three wood has more loft, it will have more carry, and generally will help you get draw spin. Drivers tend to favor fade spin, and not only are we uphill, but there is quite a lot of trouble on the right. So, simple choice, I'm gonna go for three wood. It's gonna give me more carry up the hill and hopefully more distance. In addition to which, it's gonna help me get some draw spin. Now, I'm not going to aim at the middle of the fairway. If I do that, I've only got half a fairway to hit. I'm going to aim at the right side of the fairway and try and get the three wood to draw. And that just comes from being creative. If we're tense and tight, we'll probably fade the ball out to the right. Again, choose your miss. If you're going to get it wrong, let's go trees left rather than trees right. So here we go. I'm aiming up the right hand side of the fairway. I'm looking for draw spin. And I don't mind if I go trees left because there's lots of grass underneath that's been cut. I'll find my ball, but trees right, I'm pretty much dead. So I've teed the ball up. Here we go with the three wood. I'm really pleased with the execution. The ball started down the right hand side and drew back into the middle of the fairway. So you might not think that three wood goes as far as the driver, but in some cases, particularly up the hill, it does. I made the right decision. It made the shot easier. So here we are, happily right slap, bang dash in the middle of the fairway. And if Simon pans back down the hill, you can see how steep the gradient was. So here we are on the high ground in the middle of the fairway, but the hill we just come up was so steep we can't even see the tee from here. So it was an extremely uphill shot. By taking the three wood, I got lots of elevation, the slope didn't stop the ball, and I got a bit of draw spin as well. So now it's time to hit the shot. And again, I'm taking into account that it's an uphill shot and the ball's gonna stop more quickly, which is a good thing, because the flag is quite near the front of the green. I can't really run the ball on, I don't know what it's going to do, but because I'm going uphill, I know the ball's going to stop quickly, so it's 110 yards, and if I hit the ball 115, that would be a good shot. If the ball lands short of the flag and sucks back down, you're in three putt zone, and might even come right off the front of the green. So again, if you're gonna miss it, miss it big, miss it beyond the flag. Any spin that you get will work for you and bring the ball back towards the flag. If you land it short, the ball is always working against you. So here we go, 110 yards. My job is to send the ball forward 115 yards and let the club maker do the rest. You can see, to take one, draw the ball forward, landed just past the pin and the ball is gripped. So can you believe it? I've got a second birdie chance. So a classic case, not a long hole, but by getting the tee shot in play, it made light work of the second shot. All about position. With hindsight, yes, I could have hit driver. Would I have been any better? Not really. In fact, I've had a softer shot. I would have got less spin. I was better at 110 yards probably than being 50 or 60. So I feel that I've made good decisions off the team with the second shot and the fruit is I'm putting for a three.